Okay, this is where we ended the uh, tutorial yesterday with our Tetra packs all nicely modeled, resized, shadowed, okay, and beveled and everything. And what we've got to do now is basically add this to um, to Illustrator to be able to give the labels and uh, extra shading and coloring and then put it into Photoshop. Now, I'll show you this in this tutorial, but first before we go into Illustrator we've got to do some slight adjustments to the model and put it against the actual photograph so we get the right angle for when we put it inside Photoshop. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, and one thing you'll notice maybe, is when you make default models inside uh, SketchUp before you start applying textures, it comes out this beigey colour, a lot, very light beigey khaki colour. And we don't want that because we're going to be using Multiply inside Photoshop on the JPEG. And we want it to have it so the white goes transparent. Uh, this won't go transparent, it'll go kind of slightly darkened version of the tone we use inside um, Photoshop. So what f we need to do first is A, select all the models, and I'm going to move them over to here because I'm going to put the palette here to show you what we're going to do. You go to Materials, which will pop open in a minute. Then, there we go. And I've just selected Colour on uh, on the palette. And you'll notice we've got white here, which is, if you know, hex decimal is zero, zero, zero. And all I'm going to literally do is just drag that to the model, and you notice it changed to white, and the beige shadows are turned to grey. Okay. Close that down, put it back. Now, I noticed when I did a test that uh, these weren't in exactly the right place. So whilst I'm here, I'm literally just going to be moving them around on the axes. Notice this is the center point and this is where it relates to on the actual next stage. So I'm going to go to front again. There you go, there's the models. And what we're going to do now is put them against the actual photograph. So if you remember, I've got my match photograph um, palette open from the previous tutorial. I'm just going to click on this, find uh, the photograph which is this one we used press OK it instantly maps it okay what we've got to do if you remember is adjust these uh, lines so they fit to some of the perspectives inside the actual picture okay now the boxes are roughly in the right place they're kind of like forward but I'd prefer them to be on over on the on the right so what I'm going to do first is deselect the uh, I'm going to just move that on that power like so okay so that looks a little bit more dynamic and you can see the other back uh, tetra pack a little bit more as well Okay, but you notice obviously the perspective is wrong, so I'm going to click on the match photograph again. Right, because we've deselected the match photograph, what we need to do is reselect it so we can adjust those handles. And you can't just do it by clicking on the picture, unfortunately. What we have to do is just click on this little uh, icon of grids, edit match photographs. And if you notice, if I zoom out and click on it, it actually basically readjusts it so it fits into the scene a little bit better. And what we just need to do is extend these handles so some of the perspectives actually work that one's following that one okay this one's not so good this is that dotted lines following that line now and that one is as well okay what we've got to do is try to match these slightly better notice that's about correct and we have a a line there that we can follow. You notice that's terrible, that one. Which is good because what it's doing is it's allowing me to show you more of the Tetra Pack in the background. Okay, so now we are. I'm kind of happy with that. It's not perfect, but it's good enough to see. Okay, and that's how we're going to render it out basically. So, what we're going to do is uh, set it all up to actually render the box as an EPS and as a photograph. One thing you'll notice though, even if we deselect the, uh, what's it, um, the uh, match image, 
it will still render it out as a JPEG as I said and it'll have the picture now what we need to do is get rid of that <coughs> and there is a way to do this obviously there's going to be a way to do this uh, and the way we do it is we go to Windows well, we have to deselect the actual model first so just make it so we can't see the picture go back to the full view if we go to Windows materials, the materials, not, not sorry, I did that earlier. Go to style, sorry. We have this appearing, and you'll notice when everything's deselected, you have this uh, edit button appearing, and you can click on it. And at the moment, nothing's there. But what we can do is adjust some of the things we need to do to uh, render it out. And uh, you'll notice we have up here, for instance, edge styles. We don't want to do it there, we can do it here whilst we're in the same palette, okay? But first things first, we want to get rid of the photograph. And if you go to this box here, you'll notice down at the bottom, it has match photo options. And you can, you see that's why this is a little bit lighter than the rest of it. If I pull it up, you'll notice it goes to the same depth as the background, like so. And so you can show how the picture works. Okay. Also, if you wanted to do a test uh, render and you want to see what the boxes look like, you can actually get rid of the photograph on the boxes. Or don't know why you want to do that, but this is if you wanted to texturize a box and you wanted to see what it looks like. Okay. But what we want to do is take rid of both of them, like so. So we just see the boxes and the shadows reappear, etc., etc. Okay. And if we just go back to the uh, geometry now, which is the first button. We need to get rid of the edges and the profiles. The profiles are the outside of the box, basically. You notice these have disappeared. Okay, it's just like a black outline, like a cartoon. So we need to get rid of those as well. Okay, just as a little simple point, actually, whilst we're here, you can actually adjust the uh, size of them. Yeah, so you can actually change the size of your profile so it's not so thick, the black line. And I'm going to get rid of them because I don't want to do that. And you'll notice some of the greys have actually merged together, but because they're separate faces, when we put them inside Illustrator, they will actually be separate faces in Illustrator as well. So you, you won't have a problem selecting them to change the values and everything. Okay, so don't worry about that. So what I'm going to do first is to export this as a JPEG so we can get the shadows. Uh, put it on the desktop. I think I've already got one called Tetra Pack, so I'm going to tetra pack I'm going to call it final export actually let's make sure we've got the uh, value up as high as we can press ok press export and then we're going to go to export to the graphics again and make the EPS and again call it final Okay, we don't need to check the options because the options are basically about the line quality and we've done, this is nothing, match view size we already know because that's what we want to do. Okay, and press OK there, export it. And we're finished in SketchUp. So I'm not going to save it because I want to keep it back at the original thing. So before I go into the next stage, I'm going to just show you what we're going to do. In Illustrator, I've made uh, a set of labels it's from a commission that I did. I'll just reuse them. It's basically a full size carton and a half size carton. I've just stuck my uh, logo on top just to represent the company. And what I'm going to do, I've put some silly information here just for the uh, exercise. And some extra little bits here in a barcode just to make it look a little bit more professional. What I want to do is just map these surfaces onto this surface and this surface. Okay do some extra colouring around here, make the uh, the tops obviously coloured, etc. Okay, just to make it look a little bit more perfect. So that's what we're going to do in the next uh, tutorial.